everyone, it's Katie and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. If so, you can subscribe. The button is down below. Per usual, I post beauty lifestyle, panning, and more. And today I'm very excited because I'm doing my monthly Ipsy unbagging for March. And this is what this month's bag looks like. It's not my favorite bag, but I really do like the message behind it. And the colors are actually pretty nice. Like I like the red and the blue. And it's actually like, I don't know. I just kind of like it. <laughs> And stuff and I'm starting off bare face today because as you know I always do try ons for these but yeah let's just get right into it. No reason to ramble but I do. So I already kind of showed you the bag but this is what it looks like. I really like I don't love the sun's bag but I like kind of the size and shape of it for whatever reason and I like the message behind it and stuff. So I'm super excited to get into this month's bag. I'm completely barefaced because we do have a few skincare items to try but before i get to that this is what this month's card looks like the theme this month is a stronger together which i really like for female empowerment that's something i'm real into is female empowerment i mean we should be like women build women women supporting women girls supporting girls like yes we love i really like that and stuff and products are back on the card this month which makes me really excited and then there is also um some info on ads add-ons so it's fun but anyways let's actually get into the bag now um so i'm really excited about the first item that i did end up receiving i love sheet masks they're like one of my favorites to use and i got some more from the cream shop i think i got some in my december my last december um glam bag so that's exciting but yes these are from the cream shop and they are blueberry we have the blueberry banana and then the peaches and cream and since the products are back on the card, I'm going to read info about this. But these are basically the Fusion Sheet Mask with Duo Blueberry Banana and Peaches and Cream for days or nights. Um, when the skin needs a quick pick-me-up, these sheet masks are the answer. Pop on a blueberry banana mask for clearing, brightening benefits, and a Peaches and Cream mask for a gentle cleanse and some skin smoothing. And then you also a tip is to squeeze the extra essence from the pouch and massage it onto your neck and chest so that's exciting i suppose i don't really know what to say but i'm really excited i think i'm gonna go for the blueberry and banana today just because i do want some like skin clearing and like brightening kind of bad but it's getting better And so these are actually retail for $3 a mask, which I don't surely don't think is terrible. Where, oh, I don't know why the opening is on the bottom, but okay. I have a feeling like the last ones I used from these, this brand was very like saturated. So this is probably the same. This is like not unraveling for me it doesn't want to cooperate is this just a me problem it smells good i can smell it from like a mile away practically let's see if this actually fits my face oh yeah it smells so freaking good i like the smell this is like whatever i'm just gonna put it on oh yeah very saturated very very saturated it feels nice this part though is like not wanting to like there we go and these seem to fit my face a slight bit better than other sheet masks but i love that so let's leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes and i love how on the card it says it for a cooling effect stored in the refrigerator so i might try that when i use the other one but i'm gonna let this sit on for 15 20 minutes then i'll come back it's been 15 minutes and I'm take it off. Refreshing. And now I'll just like dry myself. Kind of like try to air dry it. But man, that did give a nice glow, which these usually do. It's even tacky, which is great for makeup in my opinion. But I really love the Cream Shop masks. They're really nice, hydrating. Um, and I just always found them to be very, 
very like effective, I guess is a good way to put it. But I love that. And I can't wait to use the other one one of these days. I usually save those for like self-care days. So the next thing I did get, I actually tried out for the first time last night. And this was the day cream from One Kind. It actually says it's a nighttime um, moisturizer with swaline and rosehip oil. But it says intense hydration nutrients for glowing skin in the morning. Makeup now optional. Um, it says apply nightly to clean dry skin. But I found that this, it's like pretty um lightweight it's not like super thick and i thought that it like i thought it like seeped in pretty quickly so for nighttime i didn't really think it was like super thick but i did think that was nice um i'll actually tell you more about it but it is the one kind day cream nighttime moisturizer it says we know pine night cream before bed can be tough, especially when you're low on Z's. That's why we love this fast absorbing formula. It's quick and easy to apply. It's packed with squalene and a hero hydrator that doesn't clog pores, plus rose of oil for smoothing camel meal, I guess. And it says, don't forget your neck. Slide the cream up between the gym and chest before bedtime. And the full size of this product retails for 38 dollars but yeah it does like absorb really fast so it's like already absorbed in which I actually like so I think it's good for day or night at least I've noticed that and I don't have any foundations or anything like that to try so I'm gonna go put on some of my makeup and then I'll be right back okay so back to the eyeshadow like I said these colors are super pretty and I can't wait to use them so I think I'm gonna start with the purpler shade and apply that to my lid and just apply this to see how it looks. It's actually pretty pigmented, decently pigmented with like nothing on my lids. Like no eyeshadow base, does that make any sense? No glitter glue, but I do want to apply glitter glue because it's just not at the level that I want. I'm gonna take that I was probably way too much, but we're gonna do it anyways. And just apply that on. And same thing with this eye. This I haven't done anything with, so that'll be better. I typically always use like um, glitter glue because I like my eyeshadows just to be very foiled and pigmented. It's just the way to go. And then I'm gonna take this brush and I'm actually gonna start on this eye first. The nice, like, kind of deep. Purple, so I do think it looks a lot better with glitter glue just because it is like kind of more dramatic. And I'm gonna reapply on this side. That is super pretty. I'm gonna wipe away the fallout. There is fallout, but it's nothing too dramatic or drastic or anything like that. I'm gonna even take it and just apply even more glitter glue on top. And then I'm gonna take the lighter color, which looks kind of like pinkish. Take that. And I'm going to go on the inner part of my eyelid. That one I don't like as much, I'm noticing. That one seems to be matter. It's kind of them swatched. So that's interesting. So never mind about that. I'm gonna actually go back into that purple. And I'm going to just make sure to apply that kind of back on. I don't know how I feel about this eye look. I don't even know how I feel about this eyeshadow. I'm gonna plug in my ring light. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this eyeshadow. Sometimes like doing all that, I don't know how I feel about it. It's just darker than I was wanting for today, if that makes any sense. So I don't even know how I feel about all that. <sighs> My instinct right now is to literally go wipe it all off, not gonna lie. I'm just not feeling it. Like I love the purple and everything, but it's very dark in the other one. It's just like not to look. I don't know, I feel like this is such a mess. 
Like, I feel like it honestly is. Like, I feel like... Uh, I just don't know. Like, I don't really like it. But before I even do anything drastic, I'm going to sit on it for a second. And I'll tell you about it on the card. But the eyeshadow um, was from Almen Beauty. Like I said, eyeshadow duo in Ariel and Luna's Pro Quality Ultra Wearable. Highly pin pigmented. I don't know if I'd go that far. Easy to blend. Um, eyeshadow. Love the duo. The shimmery purple and purple mauve eyeshadow shades. Wear them or layer them alone. Um, want more payoff? Pack your eyeshadows on lid with fingers. This full size palette com is $42. I'm honestly going to tell Ipsy to chill it with the eyeshadows though because I've been getting a ton of eyeshadows recently, which I love trying new eyeshadows, but I'm kind of not feeling that vibe right now. So there's that. And I'm honestly not feeling this eyeshadow vibe. My instinct is just pack concealer on my lid and like redo. I don't know. I'm just not feeling this. I don't know. Okay, so I fixed my eyes and actually what I ended up doing is just applying glitter glue right off the way and using, I actually only used the darker purple and then I ended up using the Making Mauves palette from Colourpop and I mixed these two shades. So I applied the purple on my full eyelid. Well, actually, I mostly applied it on the outer corner. And then so when I mix those two shades from the Colourpop palette, I put it all over the lid and I actually like the effect it gave. But this palette is still like this duo is still a miss for me. Like I just even the other shade is just like too like dusty and powdery for me. So it's definitely a no for me. And I am going to tell Ipsy to chill out with the eyeshadows because I've been getting them a ton. But that was just a miss for me. I haven't had it miss um in a bit if not and the last thing i did I end up receiving in my ipsy is from milk makeup which i actually do love milk makeup but this i was not too happy to receive this is actually sample choice and if you watch my instagram story you know i do like i try to do my sample choice on instagram stories and i got to this one and i wasn't too pleased this is the um lip and cheek thingy i don't know what you call it in work so i'm actually gonna apply it to my lips i love this if you know you know i panned something like this a while ago and actually i don't mind it on the lips i just don't love it on my cheeks but that's a color it is i don't know if it necessarily goes with this look but that's what we got today and that was my last product so i'm gonna go finish off the rest of my face and then i'll come back for the outro Okay, so full face of makeup is on and I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of all the products. I know I just mentioned the eyeshadow, but this one is a no for me. It just didn't work. And this is the first eyeshadow I think I've received from Ipsy that I was just like, eh. And that was just like, oof, it's a no. Um, the milk makeup, I'm really loving this. Um, the milk makeup I wasn't like pleased about, but I actually kind of like it, especially with this look. I think it's a very good, just quick and easy lip thing, but it's something I would have picked out on my own, obviously. The moisturizer, I really did like how it um, did like soak in really fast, and I actually think it's nice under makeup. Powder brush, I love this. It is so soft and it really just applied powder beautifully, so I'm happy to have this now. Really loved this sheet mask. And I can't wait to use the other one soon. Really good. Um, loved these sheet masks. They're really, really nice. And I can't wait to use this one, like I said. So yeah, that's going to be it for this month's Ipsy Unbagging. If you enjoyed it, let me know what you got in your bags down below. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I post videos every single week um, and stuff. We try, we try. Um, I usually post Tuesdays and Saturdays. I have no idea if this is going to be a Tuesday video or a Saturday, Saturday video because I still really need to upload my shop my stash for this month. It's getting a little crazy over here, but that's okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video. Bye.